Today we're talking about three ways to cycle power planes. It's going to depend on one, the actual loading of the bar relative to your one rep max, and two, your individual mobility, especially in the front rack, if you're able to maintain the hook grip the whole time or not. All right? So the first way I call it the shoulder pop, because as you come up, you catch a little bit lower since the weight's a little bit heavier. You have to pop it off your shoulders to be able to reclaim the hook grip on the way back down. So it looks something like this. That's the first way is the shoulder pop. And again, that's for people who are unable at a heavier weight where you actually catch a little bit lower to maintain that hook grip the whole time. Second way, it's just kind of a traditional power clean where you're actually gonna keep a hold of the bar the whole time. And rather than let it go, I keep that full grip. And I don't need to pop it off now, I just kind of let the ball go right into my next rep. With that one, you catch a little bit higher, which is one of the reasons why a lot of people are able to actually maintain their hook grip the whole time. Last way is just a muscle clean. So rather than re-bending underneath, I'm just extending and seeing, set it and just finishing with my upper body. The biggest thing with this is we want to get the elbows through quickly, because otherwise if we don't get them through all the way, it's a no rep uh, according to the movement standard. So then this is with a relatively light weight, able to cycle this really quickly, under like 30% of your max. That one's the quickest, it's also the simplest, and because of that, you're definitely not going to let go of the bar on that one. So there you go, three ways to cycle.